Good morning from the Garden Tomb in Jerusalem. It's going to be a quick one. I just wanted to give you the good news. Jesus is not here. This tomb is empty. He's alive just as he said. And I want you to see the sign behind me. He is not here for he is risen. So when we are about to celebrate his birth, even though he wasn't born on the 24th or the 25th, this is the least of our concern. What the Gospels are more concentrating on is not the birth of Christ, it's the resurrection. People are born and people die, but he was the first fruit of those who fell asleep. And he is the one that through his resurrection, we can celebrate eternal life. So, from the garden tomb here in Jerusalem, I want to um, give you that amazing Christmas message that Jesus is alive. The tomb is empty. He is not here, for He is risen, just as He said. And I want to encourage you to take the words of Jesus very seriously. Because everything he said either happened, is happening, or will happen. So, from the tomb of Jesus, the empty tomb. Wait a minute, let me show you something. This is it. The tomb is empty. Look for yourself. This is it. tomb is empty we worship a living God so let no one deceive you this is the most beautiful news for this Christmas times are tough things are falling apart this world is going crazy but we are eternal hope and the eternal hope is based on this empty tomb and it's not based on anything else not on religion and not on works and not on anything else but on the finished work of Jesus and more so on the empty tomb on the resurrection so from Jerusalem from the garden tomb Shalom and God bless you and for those who celebrate Merry Christmas and for those who are Jews happy Hanukkah we love you and uh, keep praying for the peace of Jerusalem the only only way there will be peace here is when the Prince of Peace will come back to this city so Jesus is alive and he is about to come back to take his bride and what we need to do is to get ready the bride must prepare itself God bless you from Jerusalem. Shalom.